welcome back now in this video we will simply start working on the click event so first of all we are gonna create a method it will be simply show talks categories dialog and we will call upon that method that in this FCT in this click event so then whenever the user will click in here there will be a kind of dialog that will show the tax categories from which the user can simply select so let's go and create that method above the widget build there we go with the widget build above that right in here we're gonna make this private and we'll give the name as show task categories dialog and this is going to take the size we will pause that so in here size type size and curly braces right in here take this down now right in there we will have a show dialog in here there we go with the suggestion it's going to take the contacts and the builder we will remove it for now and we will add it just in a while in here semicolon and tag this down contacts to contacts and now it's going to take the builder in here contacts ctx and curly braces tag this down now in here we will simply return the alert dialog there we go with the suggestion and in here semicolon and tag this down first we will set the background color for that alert dialog so in here background color we will go with the colors dot black 54 it will be kind of dim and in shade of black 54 so let's move further now we will set the title text widget right in the text widget we will say job category put comma now we will set the text align text align we will go to the dot center and right after let's do some style for that so as usual text style in here there we go in here we will set the font size first set it to 20 and also set the color color is gonna be white all fine let's move further now down below this text you will set the content in there you have a container widget and right in the container widget you will set the width first okay so type size in here as you guys can see right in here okay we will use that so size dot width and gonna multiply it is 0 0.9 so it's gonna take the size dot width whatever the screen it will be with a 0 0.9 person as you guys can see right in here now right after in here the child and then you'll have a list view dot delta and take this down in here it's going to take some properties the first one will be showing crop there we go we're going to set this to true so basically that showing crop will create a scrollable linear array of widgets so we set that to true so you will create one 
let's move further right after item count so in that first we will go create our job category list and then we will come back right in here and we will use it and call upon that right in the item count right in here first right in the lib we will create a new directory folder there we go and we're gonna name this as a per system so in here there's the name per system and now right in this directory right click and create a new dot file and gonna name this as a per system okay now right in there we will create a class by the name per system and tag this down in there we will say static we'll have a list string type and gonna name this as a job category list as I tell you before so in that what we will do in here semicolon tag this down now we will simply just create our list for the job categories so in here string and the first one that we will create for the architecture so in here write it and construction so that's going to be on the first one put in here C so the spelling will be right and here comma now let's have another one this one will be education and let's have for training in here comma and this one will be simply for the development programming so in here just write instead of and we will have the dash so it will look more fine with the programming put comma let's have another one and this time it's going to be for the business put in here comma let's have another one this time it will be simply for the IT information technology Sources and also for the marketing and we will create for the design and the last one that we will create accounting so that will be the different categories for the job and the user will select a job according to their choice from this list so we are successfully done with that now let's go and we will use that right in the upload job dot dot open that and right in the item count in here what we will say persistent that class name let me just show you there we go okay or you can copy it from here and just paste it right in here okay or you can manually write it so then we will say dog to the job category list also the dot length that's fine now simply just import the library so the error will be gone then 
there we go so again totally fine now right after we will set the item builder it's going to take the contacts and the index number remove the comma and write the curly braces take this down now right in there you will simply return ink wall in here comma and take this down it's going to take the on tap event now scroll down and write in this on tap event we will have that job category controller that first one go tax and we're gonna equal that to the position that one just copy it from here and paste it right in here okay like that so just don't get confused in that position job category list and then we will provide the index so there will be a different kind of index because in there there are different job categories as you guys can see so it's going to need the index all fine and just let me check one more thing it's a stateful widget so we have to simply cut this cut it and in here first write the state okay in here semicolon simply tag this down from here and simply pass the code that we just cut before there we go right in the system so it will change it dynamically so whenever we use the start for widget we have to call upon that right in the system and the reason for that that it will change the result dynamically whenever we run the app and I have already explained that in the previous videos now right after if there will be any kind of dialog box we will simply remove that with the navigator dot pop contacts we will simply remove it so that's fine now let's move further head down in here we will say child and we will have a row widget in there and I have the children adding the children we will set the icon in here comma and tag this down let's have icon arrow underscore right we will go with the outline one that one and then we will also set the color so colors we will go with the gray you guys will get the idea whenever we run the app and I will just show you the result so don't worry for that and now down in here we will do some padding in here comma take this down as usual we will do the add in sec we will go with the dot all and in there we will go with the add point all gonna have the child and then the text widget that in the text widget which we will have simply the position there we go that one okay and that job category list that one with the index and then let's do some style for that so as usual text style and set the color first we will go with the gray and also let's have the font size so we will set it to 16 and all just fine now just simply we will add the const modifier just to remove those yellow lines so the code will be clean then
in here remove one X and that is fine and all is just good now simply copy that method name from here and go towards the FCT for the job category that one okay right in the FCT and there call upon it it's gonna take this size okay as I told before we will pass that so in here type size and in there semicolon first let me just check that error I say undefined name and we have defined it already let me just check so it just fine right in here I think we didn't define the size right in the widget build let me just check yep we just didn't assign the or let's say define the size in here so first let me do that and the error will be gone then take this down in here size type size equal that to the media query okay and then you will say of contacts dot size so the error has been gone already let me just check there we go okay all just fine now if you guys didn't hold to load the app just simply first do that right from here just click on that run man dot down okay i have already hold to load the app so there is no need of that i will just simply press the control s there we go now if i click on that select job category there will be dialog in which there will be a job category list so let's go and check it click on that there we go the job category and there is all the categories of a job as we write it in the persistent job category list there we go with the architecture and the construction education training development programming and so on so it's working totally fine let me also show that in the method there we go with the show task categories dialog that we just created before okay in that as you guys can see we use the show dialog okay and right in the builder we simply return the alert dialog we set the background color black 54 as you guys can see right in here and there we go with the title job category at the top in here with the white color and font size just fine 20 and it's right in the center tax align and all of this job category list we are getting that from the resistant job category list dot line as we added right in the item count and there we go with the resistant dot dot and all of the list so just don't get confused in that and then in here right in this state we simply set the job category list with the position with the index to the job category controller dot tax so we set that with the job category controller dot tax and there you guys can see that the result and also we set that icon and with the gray color you guys can see right in here and there we go in the list right on the left side and then we do some padding you guys can notice that right in here for the persistent job category looks with their index everything is just fine and I hope you can get the idea now it's more clear 